what is the difference between a facelift and a mini facelift? So with a mini facelift, you're lifting what we call the mid face or the cheeks and the jawline. This helps the nasolabial folds, the marionette lines, and gives you this lift here. The incision tends to be shorter. It is in the hair, in the top of the ear, in the ear canal, and just around the earlobe. With a facelift, you're lifting this part or the mid face, the cheeks and the jawline, as well as the neck. So when you say facelift, this includes cheeks, jawline, and neck. The incision tends to be a little bit longer. The incision goes in the hair tuft here, top of the ear, in the ear canal, around the earlobe, and then back up onto the ear, and then sometimes back into the hair. These are all placed in places where you won't be able to see them whenever they heal, so you can wear your hair up or down, and it ends up not making that much difference in the length of the incision. But the difference is, are you lifting the neck or are you lifting just the cheeks? How long does a mini facelift last? This depends on how the mini facelift is done. There are a lot of different branded mini facelifts. The point of the mini facelift is that you're lifting just the cheeks and the jawline. If this is done in the same way that the surgeon does a full facelift, this can last 10 years or more. If this is done in one of the more abbreviated ways where there's only one suture or two or three sutures placed in the deeper tissues to give you that lift, this may not last as long. There were some lifts approximately 10 years ago or so where people would place one or two sutures and maybe it would last a couple of years. So it's worth asking your surgeon exactly how they were doing this. Do they do this the same way they do their full face lifts and just not do the neck? Or is it a more abbreviated version? If you're getting a mini facelift in an hour, chances are there's not that many sutures in the deep structures holding them up. So ask a lot of questions and see how they're doing this compared to other people. I would definitely get more than one consultation for this just to make sure you're getting the best deal that you can and to get the best result for you. Is a mini facelift worth it? I think a mini facelift is worth it for someone that just has a small amount of laxity. Um, you're just seeing the descent here in your mid face or your cheeks, um, your smile lines, your jawline is really looks pretty good and your neck looks pretty good. And so if you just lifted this part here, that would look really great. And this would be look great for a very long time, five, 10 years, sometimes more. This can be an option for someone that does not want to do the less invasive um, procedures. They are not interested in things like fillers or skin tightening. They want something that can last them longer. They're okay with it being a bit more invasive, getting in return more of an investment into yourself. Have questions? Schedule a consultation anytime. I help people like you every day. Thanks for watching.